with my stepfather. <laughs> you know, I laugh at it now because it's so ridiculous. At the time, what, wasn't it that funny? It sounds pretty incredible. <laughs> but at the time, sure. I mean, my mother had met this man through a good friend. It wasn't like she met him online, through a very good friend. We didn't know about his past that he had been in prison. He told us he was a caterer and he would, in fact, I was so obsessed with food. He would take me to the pl- the markets where he got his food, which was a lie. And he would talk to me in detail about the stuff that he would cook and make for the different events. And he would be gone every two weeks. He would take off for a big church breakfast that he was cooking and he would be gone all day. <laughs> and we had to be very quiet the night before because Eddie had to be busy the whole day. So we had to be very quiet so he could be rested. They were together for two years and it was right after my brother died. So my brother died. And then it was about a year later when he had gone off to cook for this event. And my mother got a call saying, no, he's been arrested. He was outside of a bank. That's well, like a, leaving a the bank. worst, the worst lie I've ever heard. <laughs> it was so bizarre, but he was, but here's the crazy thing is it wasn't a one shot deal. He was wanted for two years. He was wanted for 48 counts of bank robbery and the police had his picture. They didn't have his name but they had his picture. They gave him a name. He carried a little bag, like a satchel. They called him the satchel bandit. And uh, yeah, they caught him and he got the max, which was 21 years. 